guys, only a few more days to my market. I'm doing some last minute prep. I made a reel about the cat plushies and the coordinator really loved them. So I'm trying to do a couple more. This is only my fourth one and it's taking a lot longer to make all the color changers. So I'll probably just make an all white one next. And I have so much more I want to make, but fingers crossed that these cats sell. Talk to you soon. Here are all my cats I made. They're pretty cute. Super happy with how they came out. I'm trying to get everything ready for the market. I got two more days. I forgot to show you guys this butterfly that I made. This is my own pattern. I'm still working on it though. <laughs> it's my dog. <laughs> but I really like it. But I need to figure out the wings a little bit better in the pattern and make a couple more. Super cute. But I'm looking for, this is another bin I have for my market. It still has uh, all my jewelry that I was making. But I'm looking for these because I want to wash them before the market because I know the last time they got pretty dirty. Let me put those aside. And I have a lot more little displays and like things in this bin and bags. And I also am looking for my sign. Yeah, I have to um, change the prices on the sign and stuff. That over here so I can write that and I it's just a chalkboard sign I use to put a bunch of different prices on like my bikinis and stuff and I want to show you guys my bikinis that I do make and sell and I have these uh, cool hangers but here's one of the bikinis and I have these cool bikini hangers that I put them on and I have a like clothing rack that I bring to the market also. Let's see. I make some one pieces and they're all reversible. I sew them inside out and then you can flip them to the other side. So you have two bikinis in one. But I was thinking I was gonna put like my crochet tops on these hangers too. Cause it helps just like spread them out better. But yeah, this one is, I like a lot and it's reversible to pink. Let's see. What other ones do I have in here? Got a lot, but I have this little triangle top. It's reversible to orange. I have a lot of others in here that um, I haven't really made any bikinis um, except for the ones that people ordered on Etsy, but I haven't really made any for the markets because in December or in the winter, it's slow for bikinis. So I don't, I didn't bring them for December. I love this one. It's a little high-waisted bottom, reversible to this blue and you can make it as tight as you want to. But yeah, these those take a while. It takes me like an hour and a half to two hours to make a bikini because I do it from scratch. Like I made my own bikini patterns and then I have to measure and cut out the fabrics and then serge and sew them all. So it takes a little while, but I sell them for $75 at my market. And I did sell quite a few during the summertime because there is nobody else, at, no other vendors have any bikinis. So that is one thing, like when I first was applying for markets, I had bikinis as my main thing. And um, I got accepted to like all the markets because no one else was selling bikinis. So that was a plus. So now that I'm already in, like I basically could sell whatever I want. And like I said, I did a bunch of different stuff. But yeah, I'm just trying to get everything together, make sure I have everything in the bins. And I was thinking, you know, like I was making all this jewelry and I have all these charms that I might start making stitch markers out of them because 
I don't want these charms to go to waste. And to buy like the chain to make necklaces is kind of expensive because I buy the gold plated one because I don't want them to tarnish. And that's still not the top of the line, like actual, or is it gold plated? Gold filled is the one that's more expensive. So there's gold, which is really expensive, gold filled, which is still expensive. And then there's gold plated, which is like the in between. It, it takes some time to tarnish, but you still can't wear it in the ocean and stuff. But it's expensive to buy that like good quality chain. So yeah, but I don't want this to go to waste. So I probably will make some cute stitch markers with them. But just getting everything together and I will probably make a video of me loading everything in my car. And I'll talk to you guys soon. I bring a tote bag with me too that has like my cash and my uh, card reader and the book, my inventory book that I write everything down in my business cards. And then I put snacks and like drinks and stuff in there. But I bring that tote bag with me. And I don't like having like an actual little cash thing. Like some people have a box and they put their cash in there. To me, I feel like that's more of a target. Like if people see that, they know there is cash in there. So I actually hide my cash in a couple like pouches. It's like a pouch within a pouch within my tote bag. And then it's a small, a small enough tote bag that I can carry it with me. So if I go around or go to the bathroom, I always bring that with me. So, you know, it makes me feel a little bit safer knowing because I like to bring at least over $200 in cash of like tens, fives, and ones. Because some people do bring like a hundreds and fifties. And if you can't break it, then you might lose a sale. And then I have some other vendors sometimes ask me for change when they run out of change. But so it's always good to have plenty of change. But I will check back in with you guys soon. Hope you're having a good day. So we're going, uh, me and my boyfriend and my son, we're going to dinner tonight. It's a little fancy restaurant. My parents got me a gift card. Uh, they were coming to visit and they had to cut their trip short and they were gonna take us to dinner. So they surprised us with a gift card so we could still go to the restaurant that we wanted to go to. Are you gonna come join me? <laughs> but um, our coordinator like sent out the email and stuff. Like she's really good at planning everything. And she asked like what zone we wanted to be in. Mm -hmm. She split the brewery up into different zones and asked us where we would like to be. Like one is like close to the stage, so it would be really loud with the music. A butterfly. And um, so we got to pick our zones and then she let us know like where we're gonna be. And uh, apparently um, our local news station like, ab like made a whole thing and advertised our market. So we got some good advertising there. And then also right before our market starts, there's gonna, yes, yeah. Right before our market starts, um, there's gonna be a big car show at the brewery in the parking lot. So, um, yes, baby, butterfly, yeah. So, um, hopefully all those people from the car show will then come to our market because no. the car show is from like nine to 12, no. baby, no. the car show is from nine to 12 and our market no. is from 12 to four. So I'm hoping when the car show ends, all those people come into our market to shop. And she said that we could come early and we can open up a little bit early just so we can get those customers. Yeah. Hi, my market is tomorrow. I'm prepared as I can be. I'm doing some last minute things. I was trying to make some other stuff, uh, but unfortunately I don't have enough time. I was working on those water bottle holders, but it's taking a lot longer than I thought it would. It looks really cool, but I thought I'd be able to make a couple in a day and it's just not working out that way. I might need more practice, but I really like them. So maybe I'll try to figure out an easier yarn to make it faster. But um, I wanted to show you guys my new crochet bag I got. It's really cute and it's only $25 on Amazon. I always carry my yarn with me to work and in the car and I just use like a reusable tote bag. But this one's really awesome. It has a lot of pockets. It has this one here that you can keep all your hooks and stuff. And then uh, it even has a USB on the side and these holes for your yarn to come through. It has another pocket on the back. 
and it's really deep when you open it. It's a book bag and you can carry it. Let's see. But yeah, it opens like this, like wide mouth, and it has a lot of more pockets in there. And you can fit your project that you're working on in some yarn. But I really love it. And they have a few options for colors that you can pick from. But I'll link it below if you like it. Check it out. But also another thing that I was making for the market, I was watching another creator's uh, video. I think it was Blondie Knots. And she had these little mystery boxes. And I found these on Amazon. They're little cute book bag boxes. And um, I'm gonna put like a tiny plushie in here and some stickers. The top is kind of complicated to close. So I closed all the tops first and I just used the, the bottom to put things in because the bottom is easier to close. But um, let's see, yeah, like this one, I put this tiny triceratops in there and then some cute little animal stickers. And then I'm gonna put some sealed candy in there. And then I know the market tomorrow, tomorrow will have a lot of kids. So I'm just gonna put like mystery boxes, $10. And yeah, hopefully they'll do well. But I'll let you guys know. Here are my mystery boxes all filled and ready to go. I'm only gonna bring five to this market because that's all the teeny tiny plushies I have. But we will see how they do. The box that I bought came with 24 of them. So hopefully they do well and I'll be able to use the rest. All right, here is what the back of my car looks like with most of my stuff packed in here. This is the tables, my clothing rack, my chair, my wagon, my bikinis, my tent is back there. So I usually keep all this stuff in my car and I'm not gonna load all my plushies and stuff, the more valuable stuff until the morning because I'm afraid somebody might break in my car and steal them. Good morning, I am on my way to the market. My car is all packed. It's pretty windy this morning and there'll be gusts of 40 to 50 mile per hour winds. The coordinator said that we have the option to use our tent or not, but I guess I'll see when I get there what I'm gonna do. Actually, you know what? I just remembered that I have to use my tent because I have a rolling rack for my bikinis and stuff and I tie it to my tent so it doesn't fall down or blow away. So I will be putting up my tent, so hopefully it won't be too crazy windy and I don't have to worry about holding my tent down all day. I am unloading now. It is very windy here. Let me turn you around. So this is the space where I'm going to be. We can park our cars right here and load in through this gate. But I'm going to be right over there. This is the brewery. And like I said, there's a car show going on right now. So there's a lot of people here. The brewery usually doesn't open until 12, but they open early for this car show. So hopefully all these people will be potential customers.
then when I have some more stuff set up, I don't want to waste all my battery. All right, I got the tablecloths on and a little bit of displays put up. I'm gonna finish the rest. much all set up. I'm still pricing some stuff. Got my bikinis, crochet tops, a bikini here, my sign, my chalkboard signs. Put all my pricing on there. Some book covers I sew, pouches, sunglass cases I sew, the necklaces that I have left over. Here are my little mystery boxes I did and all my plushies. It's not the best setup because the thing, the little stands I have keep blowing over. So I'm not gonna put those up right now, but I have some pricing to do and then I'll be all set to walk around and look at the other vendors. All right, so it's pretty packed already. I think mostly because of the car show, but I will take you around the front and walk through. It's 11.30 uh, now, it took me like an hour to set up. I'm doing a voiceover for this part because of the music, but this is the main entrance to the brewery and the sidewalk right down the middle. There's vendors on the left here and then I'm over here on the right in this area. But let's walk over here. Already a lot of people here and the brewery hasn't opened. Like I said, I well, I guess they're open. They opened early for the car show and they charge people $10 a car to come into the car show. But they're already open for drinks and food. But here are the vendors on this side setting up and they're going to have a DJ set up right there. And then that's the stage where the concert will be later. But got a lot of different people over here. And the coordinator is right over there with the pink. Uh, she's selling cookies. But yeah, there's a few people that still need to show up. But I'll try to walk back over here later. And then we have some people down here in the sidewalks. And she zoned it off, like by the stage was zone one, the sidewalk area here is zone two, where I'm at is zone three. So like I said, a bunch of vendors are on that side over there and this is like the middle and the entrance is right there. But you gotta come over here down the steps to get to the area I am. There's my tent. Got my coffee from Beach Bum coffee truck looks pretty good. They're all Taylor Swift inspired. Okay, we made our first sale already and it hasn't opened. We sold a turtle for $8, a tiny turtle. I write everything down by hand in this little book. It like, shows what they pay. So I just wrote the place, the date, what I sold, how much, and how they paid. Guys, this is the situation now. It was so windy, my whole tent blew over. People had to help me. My bikinis are not staying up. I think my <laughs> rolling rack broke. So I'm leaning against the table with my tent weights. But I have made 10 sales so far, so that's good. So hopefully this wind dies down. Here's what my boost's looking like now. 
sold quite a few plushies. This shelf is looking empty. I'll probably take it down soon. And I had to put my bikinis way over here. So there's still people looking. Market's going great. Finally died down a little bit. Still a lot of people. On the other side too. So I had to cut the sound for this part because of the Taylor Swift music playing in the background. But this is the other side, really busy. They have uh, fairy hair over here. This girl is making custom beaded bracelets with like Taylor Swift sayings, like every little kid got one of those. Lots of dogs. Still busy. Like I said, they're having a concert afterwards, so people are coming for the concert. I did sell quite a few necklaces, but I have some, so I keep restocking them. And this is all I have left of my plushies. 30 more minutes to go. That busy booth over there is selling freeze dried candy. All right, time to pack everything up. The market went great. It's four o'clock. Here. I didn't sell any bikinis today, but it's a little chilly and windy. A lot of people looked at them and got my information. Here is what I have left. And only four plushies left. But I will give you a breakdown when I get home. all packed up things don't go back in there the same way they went in but this is the wagon that I use I got it from Target it was only $40 and it folds up stuffed everything in here and up front and ready to go home hi guys I'm back from my market it was a great market overall uh, I would say I got there a little after 10 a.m. The market started at noon. Our plan in the group chat was to set up early so all the vendors could shop each other, but that didn't really happen. Most people didn't get there till after 11. And by the time I found the coordinator, talked to her, got all my stuff loaded in and set up, it was already like 11.30. I walked around a little bit and then I got a coffee from the coffee truck. And uh, the only thing that was bad was the wind. The wind was crazy. And of course, like I already had been, had my tent set up for over an hour. And as soon as the market started at noon, there was a huge gust of wind, took my tent over, completely over on the side, even though I had weights and like 25 pound weights on each foot. And all my stuff flew off the table, knocked over my full coffee, spilled it on some of my stuff, knocked over my bikini rack. It was awful. Luckily, some people standing around helped me grab my tent and pick up the stuff but I had to take my tent down and then I had to move my bikini rack back against the table and put my weights on that to hold that up because the bars kind of got bent when the whole tent went over so that was a little bit hectic and crazy and I lost my coffee and then it got busy and I couldn't go back to the coffee truck for a while but I, I did end up going back and told them what happened and they gave me another one for free thank goodness so that was very nice of them but yeah the market was great it was really busy like I said, it was a Taylor Swift themed market and there were a lot of kids there and it was a great day. Overall, let's see, I brought uh, 41 plushies with me and I sold 37 out of 41. And um, like I said, I still have some other stuff left. I'm still gonna bring my sewing items, but I had some like necklaces left over from what I used to make in the past and I just wanted to sell those so I don't lose money off because I already paid for all the stuff. And I sold seven necklaces and I sell them for $25 each. 
I sold two zipper pouches that I sew and I sold two clay magnets. That was another thing I made when I was doing polymer clay. I was trying that out. I made earrings and I made clay magnets and I made pop sockets and I did sell out all my pop sockets already, but I still had some magnets, magnets left. So I'd sold two of those and that was pretty much everything I sold. Um, I made those mystery boxes and I brought five of those. They'll, those sold right away. People love those. Uh, I think two people came and got two boxes each and then another lady got the last one. But I definitely need to make more of those. And if you want to try those, I think they would sell great. And I just put a tiny plushie in there and a couple stickers, cute little animal stickers, and I sold them for $10. And like I said, you can buy a whole a pack of 24 of the... There, it looks like this, the little book bags um, on Amazon. I think it was 20 bucks or 18 bucks. So they're less than a dollar a piece. But yeah, and then my squishy, chubby, fat cats sold out. I had four of those. Those sold right away. I had a couple other tiny cats. Those sold right away. People love the cats. I had that Dotson that I made myself. Uh, here's... Here's the other version in a smaller yarn. The one I made looked exactly like this, but it was bigger because I made it in blanket yarn. But this is my own pattern that I do want to release eventually. But yeah, somebody scooped that up right, right away. They love the Dotson. So I hope to make more of these. Um, so yeah, I have a market, another market coming up next Saturday at another brewery. And I have done this brewery before also, and it was a great market. So now I have a busy week ahead of me. I have to make a lot of plushies to replace all the ones I sold. So at least I know what I'm going to work on. I'm going to try to make a lot of cats. I sold all my tiny turtles. I'm going to make uh, more turtles. And like the weird ones did sell. Like I had a weird little frog. I had that a couple weird cats that I made. Those did sell. So I don't know what I'm going to concentrate on. Definitely the cats and the turtles though. But, um, so I made $179 in cash and $18 in Venmo and $532.03 um, in the credit card Square Reader that I just use on my phone. So if you have the Square Reader, it you, there's a tapping thing that comes up and they can just tap their credit card to your phone. And if they don't have the tap, there's a little tiny device that you put on the bottom of your phone and you can just swipe their card. But that is the 53203 is after the fees from Square. So my total is $729.03 for today, which I think is great for a four hour market. I thought I would get to stay a little bit longer because the concert was going on after the market and it was packed, but for some reason the brewery, which I didn't know they were doing, they kicked everyone out at four o'clock. They shut down, the market was over at four and they shut down the whole brewery at four and made everyone leave because the concert, you have to have tickets for, the concert didn't start till six. So I was confused about why they were doing that because some people were there just to stay for the concert. So, and I thought, you know, oh, I'm gonna stay a little bit longer because it's still extremely busy and make some more money, but oh well. Um, what else was I gonna say? So the the booth fee was thirty dollars. So then after the that booth fee, I made six hundred and ninety nine dollars and three cents. So I'm gonna take that as a total profit because I did have a couple markets in February where I made a couple hundred dollars, and that money I used to buy my yarn with. So I didn't um, need to take out any money from this profit for my yarn purchases, which is great. But yeah, I hopefully I need to look over all the footage, but hopefully I got a lot of good footage of the market that I can show you guys in this video. And stay tuned for this week. I'll try to make a market prep video and see how much I can crochet because I still have work. We're still moving, so I still got to pack stuff. We're supposed to go to Bush Gardens this week also, so we'll see how it goes. But thank you so much for tuning in. I hope you enjoyed this video, and don't forget to hit subscribe and like this video. If you like the video, then it helps us uh, get the video out to more people, 
and help us keep making videos on YouTube. But thank you guys so much. Have a great night and I'll talk to you soon. Oh, hold on, not by yet. I wanted to show you guys the four that I had left, the plushies that did not sell. This one, the little river bunny, the tiny version, it didn't sell. I think it's super cute. A lot of people picked it up and said how cute it was, but uh, I have it for 18. Got this one still. Uh, this little guinea pig or hamster, he didn't sell. I have him for 15. Uh, then one of the weird cats I made, he didn't sell. I have him for 20. I had a couple other weird cats that did sell, but not this one. So we'll see for next Saturday. And then this little tiny dead bear that I freehanded. Still got him left. I had him for $8. But yeah, those are the only ones that didn't get adopted. So we'll see what happens next week. Okay, now it's bye. <laughs>